Hello everyone and welcome back to our third weekly video regarding our new unit, Animal Allies. Again, in this unit we're going to be introduced to a text entitled As My Life with a Chimpanzee. Again, introduced to various concepts of vocabulary coupled with various conventions. And in our text, we're going to focus on exploring the writer's choice of words in alignment with a broader historical context. And uh, we're going to analyze, again, the writer's style of writing. The concept of vocabulary that we're going to focus on are going to be basically um, related to annotation, word choice, guessing, exploring, and historical background. So, and again, to move on with the text itself, we're going to have an interactive activity, uh, an approach to learning itself, that it's called the Jexo reading. Again, we're going to divide the text into sections, assign uh, the sections to students, and then uh, give them individual time to comprehend the text that we're dealing with. Uh, we're going to end this lesson actually by thinking about the author's choice and repetition of some words in regard to the text and we're going to end up with a challenging question. What is the main object of objective study of the author's reflection of her own life experiences with animals? As we go through the text, we're going to delve deeply into the author's purpose to exploring the writer's choice uh, of words, provide information, facts, or knowledge on a specific topic that has to do with the text itself and present and defend a particular opinion or thesis with evidence and uh, basically reasoning. And as we go through the text, we're going to have a lot of descriptive verbs and concepts of vocabulary, and we're going actually to relate the choice of such concepts of vocabulary in regard to the author's purpose. And again, we're going to talk about the author's purpose in the descriptive paragraphs, and how is it actually um, about uh, providing a vivid and accurate, uh, basically, uh, details and characteristics of a person, place, object, or any concept to the reader, uh, basically, himself, herself. And again, we're going to talk about the type of writing that we're dealing with more, as it aims to create a clear and sincere, rich image in the reader's mind. Use it carefully, chosen words, again, phrases, and sincere language. Now, when it comes to basically punctuation marks, we're going to focus on the importance of commas and dashes. Again, commas in a descriptive paragraph serve a critical tool for structuring the text itself, clarifying the meaning, providing more context, and creating a smooth and engaging reading experience. Again, it helps, again, to uh, produce a well-developed production, generally speaking, whenever it comes to any type of writing, generally. So, and again, as a type of reflection, we're going to have a task about rewriting sentences using uh, basically dashes, um, you know, commas, and other basically punctuation marks. And again, we're going to end up with a basically a, um, a task that has to do with reading, reading certain paragraphs regarding the text that we dealt with and marking one example, each of a comma, a dash, or any other basically punctuation mark. And now moving on to our basically uh, formative uh, task that we're going to deal with it's an explanatory essay so we're going to inform and educate the students about the major elements of writing an explanatory essay um what what are the topics and how can we clearly maintain uh, an objectively uh, basically incredible um, source and opinion generally and provide a well organized engaging presentation of information while writing the essay itself and again we're going to end by using or by being introduced to a lot of basically challenging questions that are uh, what are the potential benefits and drawbacks of specific strategies and approaches regarding the topic that we dealt with, which is explanatory essay. Model a well-crafted informative explanatory essay regarding bodies, which is the first text that we've been introduced to. And challenge yourself to find all the elements of an explanatory essay in the text. Brainstorm the key elements of writing the um, essay that we uh, basically have, again, as a kind of summary of uh, basically the type of text that we're dealing with. And now after producing or after focusing on uh, presenting and practicing, we're going to model the product itself, which is writing and modeling a product. So we're going to identify the major elements again, provide details and descriptions um, to enhance our basic vividness of our writing. We're going to, lastly, afterwards, we're going to model a, a paragraph using color coding um, in which students engage um, with various, or the various elements of writing an explanatory essay. Again, how are we going to end it? We're going to ask ourselves several questions that are, how do choose a strong and clear point for your paragraph or essay and summarize the main checklist you take into consideration in modeling peel writing itself.